recently uh, we saw each other at the, the Grammy hip hop party, right? Yes. But do you remember the first time we met? I actually do remember the first time we met, which is a, it's a funny story. What's the story? So it was fashion week, New York City. Okay. It was hot. Everyone was looking beautiful. <laughs> it was Beth Ann Hardison's party. Uh -huh. I was DJing. And then our buddy, um, legendary Damon, came into the DJ booth. Legendary Damon. And he said, I'm going to bring someone up to say hello. And he brought you over, and I was nervous. And I had to introduce you. And I was like, you playing can't... music. And I was like, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jennifer Holiday. <laughs> 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 and yeah, and she looked at me, she said, huh. I did not. Stop it. Y'all, I get that all the time. I'm either, look, do you know, I'm either Jennifer Houston or Jennifer Holiday, And I'll be like, you know what? I mean, come on, it's Houston and Holiday. I wasn't mad. Oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> I, cleaned, I cleaned it up well. I was like, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Okay. Just, now, listen, beautiful. I got to tell you, through the pandemic, you held it down, down, down. Thank you, thank you. Honey, me and my friends, we would get together at our friend's house and then you pop up on the screen and we would watch the verses. Anybody watch the verses and stuff like that? All of those moments, like, what gave you the idea to want to do that? Well, to be honest, I was, uh, I had just moved to LA like one year before the pandemic and I had no family and friends. So I was quarantined at home alone mm -hmm. and it was probably the worst feeling, but the most beautiful experience. Because if I, had I lived in New York still, there would be no CQ, there would have been no one dancing the way we did for that entire time. And um, I was sitting at home, just trying to find ways to stay connected, opened up my laptop, turned on Instagram Live for the first time, and just started playing music and sharing stories and, and just watched it build and build and build. And, you know, five days later, it became just like this legendary party. Five days later? Five days later, yes. Right. Did, did it even cross your mind that it would impact people the way that it did and it would blow up the way that it did? No, I'll say this. Day four was the day that I, that I thought that it was something special. Mm -hmm. You know, day four was like a Friday night and Drake was in there and The Rock, and I was like, wait, I never even met Drake. You know, the, you know we're not even homies like that, but he was in there partying and like he was in there chatting with people, and that was the moment that I thought it was, it was something special. And uh, there was a woman that uh, left a comment that said, wow, D-Nice has everyone in here. The only people missing are the Obamas. You uh, got them too, though, right? Yeah, I woke up the next morning. I was like, all right, I'm going to figure out how to get one of the Obamas <laughs> in here. The, the dog, a bird, <laughs> whatever. I needed someone from them. But, what did you do to get them? Like, you know, I just, I just made a couple of calls to, to you know, their team. I DJ for, for the Obamas. And, I DJ for the Obamas. You know. <laughs> he just slid that right in there. <laughs> Um, and just, you know, placed the call and just, you know, kept my fingers crossed, hoping that they would also understand what, what, it wasn't about like a real party, it was about trying to inspire people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, five, five or six hours later, Michelle was in there and um, it changed everything. So back then, did you think that you would come this far and do so much and be so impactful? No, I didn't think I would still be here, to be honest with you. You know, back then hip hop didn't have like this long kind of like career. Um, you know, most artists, three or four years, you were over, mm. you know, and I was actually, my career ended in, uh, my rap career ended in like 1992. I was over. No one wanted to sign me, but it was the best feeling in the world because I had to figure out what was I going to do with my life, you mm -hmm. know, after, after this stop. And I taught myself how to program, so I, I built websites for everyone. I did the Diary of Alicia Keys website to... You know, Boys to Men, Annie oh Lennox, Reebok. I was working on everyone's websites as a programmer with my own company. And then I got into DJ. I love that you were still there in, within the music yes. in a different type of way. And your song, Self Destruction, yes. the anthem to stop the violence movement, was in the late 80s? Late 80s. I was 18 years old when I produced that. And um, that was a, an extremely proud moment um, to be able to create like our version of like We Are the World, you know? The hip-hop version? The hip-hop yeah. version, and that was, um, that was a really big record, man, so, yeah. I love that, and I, I was just saying to you in between the break, I love how you guys in the hip-hop community stick together. Like, it's like a brohood or something. I think that's just amazing. And Not always, too. but when you find the right connection. The connections I've seen. Yeah, I gotta be honest. <laughs> Don't tell us. <laughs> when, you, when you find the right people, you find the right connection, those are lifelong friendships. So. I didn't go to college, so my, my, college, my college was hip-hop. 
So okay. when I see like Chuck D and I see LL Cool J and Queen Latifah. See all that like, love, y'all. Yeah. That's, that's who I went to school with. Ah. The Queen. The Queen. The Queen. I've been friends with Queen Latifah. Wow, I love this picture. I need these pictures. We're going to make sure you get them. See, we're about photos here and memories. <laughs> I've been friends with her since, man, since like 1987, 88. And we used to live in, we used to live in the same apartment building in New Jersey. And back then, you know, it was a long time ago, so we couldn't sell anyone anything. <laughs> so, so if one of us were like on the road, you know, either Latifah or Dana, as we call her, or her manager, Shaquem, they're like, yo, go pay, pay the rent for us. Or if I wasn't there, they would pay the rent for me. But we've literally been like, that's like, that's family. Yeah, this is, this is beautiful, and we're still friends. Yes. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.